Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 and I'm going to show you how to set up a online restaurant ordering system with the WooCommerce Restaurant Order plugin. It's a fantastic way to sell any kind of food online because you can add it to any WordPress website and unlike systems like Uber Eats or Deliveroo or Grubhub, you're in full control, you can set it up exactly how you want and you don't have to pay any ongoing commission or profit share to third parties. It's super flexible and really easy for your customers to use as well as simple for you to set up. So your customers will view your food in a list or in a grid layout and they can just choose which ones they want and add them to the cart. You can add options for your foods with product variations so that people get to make more fine grained choices about their foods. And it even works with other plugins to add more sophisticated options, such as add-ons where you can configure pizza toppings or sandwich fillings or that kind of thing. You also have full control over your layout. And before we start setting it up, I'll show you some more examples. So as well as the one column layout that we've already seen, you can have multiple columns. You can choose whether to include images and add buttons, or you can hide that information and just keep it really simple. So it's really flexible and you can set it up exactly how you choose. Now, before we start this tutorial, you need to have a WordPress website with the free WooCommerce plugin installed. And once you've installed WooCommerce, you need to add each of your food as a product. So each item here is a different product which will appear within the restaurant ordering system. And I'll just show you behind the scenes how one is set up. So this is a simple food product, chocolate fudge cake, and we've added a product title. We've got a description of the product. We've got product categories, which will help how it's structured on the front end of the website. And we've added a price here as well. If you wanted to add options for your products, like whether or not to have cream with it, if it's a dessert or something like that, then you can have variable products. And if you're using the product add-ons plugin, which we saw on a pizza earlier, then you'll get an add-on section here. This is provided by the product add-ons plugin. So if you want something that's not just variations, which appear as a drop down, then you can install product add-ons and have those as extra types of option. And once we've added all our food items as WooCommerce products, it's time to install the WooCommerce restaurant ordering plugin. Once you've bought WooCommerce restaurant ordering, you'll receive an email with a link to download the plugin and your license key. You need both of them for this step. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new, and then click the link to upload a plugin and choose a file. You should install the WooCommerce restaurant ordering .zip file, which you just downloaded from the order confirmation email and then click open and install now and that will upload the plugin to your website and once you've uploaded it you should activate it on activating the plugin you should go to the plugin settings page which you will find in WooCommerce settings restaurant add your license key to the box making sure there's no spaces or anything so this it should be exactly as you receive it in the confirmation email and click activate and that will make the plugin work on your site next you'll see that it has already created a page for you called restaurant ordering and that will list all your food products which you added before by default it will list all of your categories so um, ignore this if you want if that's how you want it or you can select specific categories and you can also choose the order so that's pretty flexible you can choose exactly what information you want to display in the restaurant order form you can choose the number of columns um, let's go for two columns you can choose whether the images will appear on the left or the right uh, if you have chosen to include images um, and various others it's worth mentioning the order method because for simple products that don't have any options, you can allow customers to just click on the plus item to instantly add the product to the cart. Um, or if you want, then you can have a light box which will display more information about each product. 
Uh, just bear in mind that products with options, whether they're variations or add-ons, will always open in a light box, whichever option you choose here. So this is just for simple products. And you can also choose what to display within the light box. So we'll save our settings. And then we need to go and find the restaurant ordering page. So to do that, you go to the main list of pages in the WordPress admin. Um, if you can't see restaurant ordering at the top, just sort by date because that will be your newest page and click to view it. And here we have our restaurant ordering page. Uh, so it's got two columns just like I selected. It's got all the information I chose and it lists all of my categories um, in the default order. And as we saw, we can reorder them on the settings page. My page, my page has a sidebar here, uh, which is because the theme I'm using, which is the free storefront theme from WooCommerce.com, has a sidebar on the page and I've added a cart widget to it. I'll show you how to do that next. In the WordPress admin, go to Appearance and then Widgets and find the main sidebar area that's used on your page. It may be called something other than sidebar depending on your theme. And all you do is you find the cart widget which is provided by WooCommerce itself and drag it into your sidebar. Once you've done that, you can also choose the text for the title and whether or not to display the cart at all if the cart is empty. So if your page has a sidebar, then you can have a cart on it, just like on my example. Next, I'm going to just change a few settings to show you how easy it is to configure your food order forms. So previously we had a two column layout, as you can see, let's change it to a three column layout and let's hide the images completely and the description, let's hide loads of stuff and make it look completely different. So all we're going to have is the title let's say a description of each food and we want to display everything in a light box now we'll click save changes and now i'm going to refresh my page so this is what it looks like before and then we'll refresh and you can see it looks completely different it's now three columns and everything opens in a light box so that you can view pictures and so on within the light box and if there's a description that will appear as well, and as you can see, it's a good place to put nutritional information, calorie counts, allergens, that kind of thing. And finally, I'll just mention some other integrations which will make your food ordering system even better. One of them is delivery slots. Now, the free WooCommerce plugin comes with tons of delivery options, such as the ability to set different delivery zones and charge different prices depending on where people live or whether or not they're allowed to order from you if they're within your delivery area. And um, you can also have a choice of delivery or collection so that people can collect from your restaurant. That's all part of the free WooCommerce plugin. If you want people to be able to choose a delivery slot, then you can do that with another plugin called uh, WooCommerce Delivery Slots from Iconic and um, we've got some examples of how you can use that with WooCommerce restaurant ordering on this page. So you can have a delivery slot picker on the page or you can add a button either to the sidebar or to the page and then people can choose a slot before they start ordering. So if you want people to be able to choose exactly when they'll receive their order then I'd recommend the WooCommerce delivery slots plugin for that. And that's it. Now you know how to set up a complete WooCommerce restaurant ordering system with the WooCommerce restaurant ordering plugin. It's really quick and easy for you to set up and it's easy for your customers to use when they want to order foods as well. It's really flexible, you can add extra options to your foods and it even comes with a short code which you can use to list different categories of food on different parts of your site. So for example, you might want to have different categories on different pages. You might even want to use a tabbed layout with a different category of food within each tab, um, like on this example. And you can do all of this with a short code. That's also a good option if you want to have different information about each food, depending on the category. So maybe you don't want images in a particular category or something like that. The plugin comes with full documentation about how to set it up, as well as how to set up all other parts of your online restaurant ordering. So, for example, there's also documentation on things like how to automatically print orders to the kitchen, how to take tips online and so on. 
The plugin comes with full support if you need any help and it also comes with a money back guarantee. So if you're not happy for any reason in the first 30 days, you can get your money back, no questions asked. You can get WooCommerce restaurant ordering from barn2.co.uk. So get the plugin and start taking orders online today.